Hi everyone and welcome back to 5-Minute Family Search. So what I would like to show you now is how to go into a person's page and to see the information that is listed for each of these individuals that's in our tree. So I am back on my main family tree page and I am going to come down here to Felitas Nichols and I am just going to click on his name and that will bring up the card that we talked about and I'm going to come down here to Person. When I click on that, it's going to take us to his page. And this is, like I said, where all the information is and where you'll be working for most of the time that you are in Family Search. So my computer is a little slow today. I apologize. So this is pulling up his information. And I'm just going to start at the top, and we're going to work our way down. So this is his picture, obviously, his first name, his last name, his birth date, and his birth death date. Sorry. This is his unique ID number. This is if I wanted to jump back out and look at his tree. This is the watch button that we talked about to put him on a watch list. And this is the view my relationship that we have talked about. And I'm not sure which order that these videos will be in. I do apologize for that. But those will be available for you to watch. Underneath that you see details, memories, and ordinances. This that we are looking at right now is the details page. If we click over one, we can go to memories and this will bring us to the memory page and I don't remember if I did or somebody else did of putting this picture on of him and that's the one memory that has been created if I go over farther I can click on ordinances and this is going to bring up his ordinance work so I can take a look at it now if there was work that needed to be done this would be a different color depending on what needed to be done right now it's white and that tells me right here everything is completed so his baptism his confirmation, his initiatory, his endowment, his sealing to his parents, his sealings to his, his sealing, I apologize, just one sealing, his sealing to his spouse. And so this tells us when it was done and where it was done. That is what this column's for. Now over here, this tells who his parents are. So he was sealed to his parents, here's his parents. He was sealed to his spouse, and here is his spouse. So that is the ordinance page. Now we're going to come back over here to details and that's where we were initially and when we click on that it'll take us back to the detail page and we can talk about the information on here. This I'm just going to go down the left side and then we'll go down the right side. Vitals are his information like his name, his sex, his birth, his death, things like that. Other is just other information, his family, any sources that have been attached to him any discussions that are going on for him, and any notes. And these, as you see, you can click on them and it's going to jump us down to the bottom of the page. And so that is a quick way to be able to get down to another area without having to scroll, th scroll through all of the information. So we're just going to start here with Life Sketch. This is if you wanted to write a story about him and put it in and kind of give an update on his life of who he was and all of that information, you would put that there. As we scroll down, we'll see vital information. This is his name, his sex, his birth. This is information that comes from government records or that we have put in ourselves, but the, his birth and death date. As you scroll down, this is other information. If he had nicknames, places he's lived in the country, just things like that. Um, if you keep scrolling down, we're going to get to family members. And so here he is, and here is his wife, and then these are his six children. And over here on the right hand side, here is his father and his mother, and then here is him, and then these are his siblings. And there is an add sibling and an add child. We're actually going to do those in another video to make that a little bit easier. And there's also up here how to add a spouse if he had multiple spouses or to add an additional parent. And so those we will cover in another video, but to keep them under five minutes, it's easier just to separate them out. Also down here is a button, add child with an unknown mother, if that was the case and that needed to be addressed. As you go further down, these are the sources that have been attached. There's census reports, um, marriage record, death record, all of these are just different sources that have been attached to him. As we finish going down to the bottom of the page, there's discussions. As we said, there are no discussions and no notes. Notes are if you want to make a... Uh, like it just says a note, make a quick note to yourself or to everybody and just let, you know, know about him or just anything like that that you would deem necessary to be in that note area. Now I'm coming back up here to the top. Over here on the right, you'll see research help. 
data problem, that's what this red is for, and we're going to do that in another video, and I will show you how to correct information when you see one of these little exclamation points. This is another one we're going to cover. This is um, record hints, these blue boxes. These are those pretty boxes I tell you that we get super excited about because those are government records where there's normally a lot more information that we can pull down about our relative in there. This we're going to go over in a little bit too. Um, this is well, Family Search is what you're working in now. If you click on that, it's going to bring you right back where you are. Ancestry, it's going to show us how to get over into Ancestry, find my past and my heritage. If I click on any of these, instead of just taking me into the general Ancestry, it's going to take me into Ancestry and put Felitas as the main person. And so it's going to do the research for me right away. It'll just pull it up quickly. And we will go over that in a different video. And I will also show you, if you don't have those accounts, how to go ahead and access those accounts and get those set up. This down here, another video, I apologize, but these are printing, where you can print your pedigree, your portrait pedigree, your fan chart, your family group sheet, or your family group sheet with sources. And I looked at this one before I taped, and with sources, it's 14 pages. Without, it's like two. But this gives you all the sources that people have put in to prove that the information is correct. This right here is called latest changes. So if you come onto your record and you want to know who added that information, you can come over here and you can see. So back in 2016, I attached a source here in same, I guess the same day here, I attached a residence that he lived in. Back in 2015, I attached another source and I can click here and show all. It's not gonna be everything I did, it's gonna be everything that anybody who's been working on Family Search has done for Felitas. So you can go in and like I said, see who has added information or deleted information, anything like that. And here's a show all button and so you can see everything that's been done and there'll be a lot listed that you can go through and verify. Down here is possible duplicates, again another video, but I'll show you how to merge duplicates. And so if he did have another um, record inside Family Search that sometimes people have multiple records, then um, I could go right here on possible duplicates and I could merge those together. Report abuse, you can click on that and it'll just I'll just show you what it does, but if somebody is using offensive words or they're advertising on here or making political statements, anything inappropriate, you can click there write it out, explain what it is, and then that'll send it into um, Salt Lake. Here, I will click on it, but this button is inactive now. It's delete person. What happened is when people would see a family and say, oh, well, this person isn't the spouse, and they would just click delete. Instead of deleting that relationship, they were deleting the person out of family search. And so if you click on it, you can, but nothing will happen. It just says to edit the information and if this person really needs to be removed, to call down to Salt Lake. But basically they took that option away from us because we weren't doing it correctly. <laughs> and so that was removed. And so that is all for this page. And like I said, all of this information on the right hand side or anything else that we didn't cover, I will cover in future videos, but it'll just make it easier to have it separated out.